completely transformed from a way of uh, uh, temporarily delaying uh, communication to a means of c accomplishing some instant communication uh, in a very sort of ironic, uh, ironic way. The second example I wanted to explore a little bit was uh, uh, the uh, use, the history of the use of uh, sound recorders for um, historical documentation. Uh, if you recall, Edison's first uh, recorder was a recorder for the voice, and he proposed all sorts of applications that related to uh, the recording of the voice, uh, uh, using it to, uh, as a substitute for paper, uh, to put these things in the mail and send them directly instead of, uh, of old-fashioned letters, uh, or to use it for historical documentation. And certain fields, certain academic fields, uh, embraced this technology uh, pretty quickly. Uh, particularly uh, uh, fields like anthropology or fields, uh, subfields of anthropology. So uh, the f some of the first academic uh, uh, field recordings, ethnographic field recordings, were made in 1890, uh, very soon after the improved wax cylinder phonographs became available. Uh, the recordings made uh, before 1945 or so by uh, ethnographers and uh, folklorists uh, now held in the Library of Congress, just in their uh, folk life collection, uh, these number in the thousands. The members of the general public uh, also participated in the uh, creation of a, a sort of new category of historical documents, uh, sound recordings. Uh, now uh, individuals uh, could capture uh, their own thoughts and their own impressions, uh, not only with uh, pen and paper, uh, but also through the recording of the voice. Uh, in the 1950s and 1960s, uh, when the tape recorder appeared, uh, making it uh, certainly uh, easier and simpler and more reliable uh, to make a recording, uh, there was a sort of a flowering of the phenomenon of taped uh, correspondence, uh, sort of realization of, of Edison's uh, prophecy about, about this. Uh, this was especially popular in the Viet uh, Vietnam War. Uh, uh, it came right at the time when uh, uh, not only had the tape recorder been introduced, but uh, Japanese companies had uh, miniaturized it, uh, come up with uh, very small battery-operated portables that were very inexpensive. Uh, American soldiers bought these things so on leave or uh, um, uh, uh, bought them in Saigon, who knows where. Uh, and used them to send letters home uh, on uh, little reels of tape. Uh, American manufacturers of tape, in fact, came out with uh, special uh, small uh, tape reels that came in a little box uh, with a, a place for the postage stamp and lines on there uh, because they knew exactly what these things were being used for. Uh, so. Uh, in a culture uh, like ours that was uh, uh, developing, uh, uh, was moving, beginning to move too fast uh, for this wearisome uh, process of uh, putting pen to paper uh, in an era before uh, cheap long distance, and an era before email, uh, uh, the making of recorded correspondence uh, make, made a lot of sense. Uh, there's another side of this, um, this democratized uh, 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 documentation of history in the post-World War II uh, period, but I'm reluctant to call it historical uh, documentation. I think that's too nice a way uh, to describe it. But again, uh, with the uh, uh, development of um, easy-to-use uh, magnetic tape recording devices uh, just after World War II, there was, uh, if you look in the uh, legal uh, academic legal literature, you see a flurry of discussion of uh, legal opinions and so forth, uh, of whether or not it was appropriate or acceptable to uh, enter into uh, court as evidence uh, a, a sound recording, uh, because uh, what they were debating uh, was itself sort of evidence of a, a, a phenomenon that was occurring out there, uh, the uh, secret taping of the phones and of private conversations. Uh, the tape recorder, in other words, sort of uh, uh, brought about uh, or exposed our, our latent desire uh, to capture uh, the spoken word, and especially uh, the spoken words of the sort that we long since learned not to put down on paper. 
uh, the threats, the broken promises, the slanders, the obscenities of those we thought we, thought we could uh, punish. Uh, now these were to be uh, secretly recorded and trotted out later uh, at the most uh, embarrassing or inopportune time uh, possible, uh, especially in court. Uh, so the ease of tape recording uh, led to its greater use in surveillance, uh, in evidence gathering, uh, not only by private investigators and spies, uh, but journalists and uh, all sorts of uh, ordinary people. I call this a latent uh, desire uh, because the phenomenon seems to erupt uh, so uh, dramatically uh, almost as soon as uh, the uh, 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 tape recording technology uh, which is so easy to use, almost as soon as that becomes available. And of course it was fanned uh, by uh, the um, uh, establishment of the tape recorder as a sort of fixture, a set piece in every spy movie and every spy novel that came out. Uh, so people learned uh, how to do it uh, from Hollywood. But previous to this, uh, just prior to the emergence of uh, uh, these technologies, uh, it was extremely difficult to make these kind of secret recordings. Uh, uh, and even in the uh, early days, uh, after the tape recorder was introduced, it was still difficult. Uh, but it certainly uh, became uh, uh, easier over the years, and as it did, uh, the phenomena expanded. So uh, FDR made secret recordings in his office uh, when he was uh, president. Uh, but he required the help of uh, no less than RCA, the Radio Corporation of America, uh, the, uh, one of the uh, leading uh, electronics firms uh, in the world. Uh, uh, Harry Truman did it. Uh, he got his help from uh, engineers from the Illinois Institute of uh, Technology, of all places. Uh, JFK did it. Uh, he got his help from the Dictaphone Corporation. Uh, but it's worth noting that by this time, uh, he could uh, buy uh, equipment that could uh, that came with attachments uh, to plug it uh, directly into the phone lines, so it was getting easier. Uh, by the time uh, Richard Nixon's secretary uh, erased the first second of those um, 18 and a half minutes, uh, she could use a machine that was bought uh, from the department store. <laughs> 